make you wait. Smell those eggs and bake. It's time for Breakfast Talk, a podcast covering a range of entrepreneurial and independent comics creation topics first thing in the morning. Of course, please like and share if you're enjoying our special seasoning. And be sure to subscribe to join us every Monday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Central. Let's talk. You know, as opposed to just fucking water that gets you drunk. You know what I mean? Like, you have to really taste beer. 2.8%. I think on my my 21st birthday, the first time I... The thing, first thing I ever drank was Coors Light, and it was like a sip, and oh. I was like, "Oh, that's disgusting." No. So, yeah. no. surprisingly, one beer that I do maintain that it like, okay, I could drink this Michelob, like sixty four or whatever, like their low calorie, like Michelob. You gotta pretty watch the good. calories. Pretty fucking good. You gotta I could have drink that baby it. aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> Prevents heart attack, don't you know? We should all get together uh, sometime and go to Outback Steakhouse. Really enjoy that place. <laughs> oh, gosh. In college, I didn't like beer because I didn't have craft beer back then. So we just drank whiskey. Hey, hell yeah. Like that. There you go. Like that. That's a good transition, though, I think. Whiskey yeah. to, to, to nice stout beers. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, transition. yeah. We used to, we'd get a bottle of Seagram's. We'd split it between us. So, you know, you it's go. a cost saving. You know, someone would have cans of spray in their room. Seven and seven. There you go. Easy. <laughs> I remember we went to our one friend's birthday. He turned 21, and he and all his high school friends were drinking beer out of the plastic cups and like, woo! And we're yeah, all in the yeah. back with our cocktails and our glass <laughs> glasses. And we're like, oh, like this. Oh, there's a line here. Oh, we're we're drinking whiskey sours as opposed uh, to you know, petty I beers. Think, I think I was drinking an amaretto stone sour. I was that pretentious. <laughs> Uh, I, I, that is I, the I, introductionary I, drink to like high class drinks. <laughs> Whiskey sour. There you go. <clears throat> in Me- in Mexico, I had an amaretto and apple juice. That Ooh. that that gives that you is, di- that diabetes. That yeah. gives you diarrhea. Diarrhea. Yeah. That's the water, bro. That's the ice cube. Yeah. I, I didn't have water. <laughs> there. I did get sick when I was there, but no. Oh dear. That's the water, bro. For real, like it's not good. Uh, it not no, good. I wasn't in Michigan. <laughs> no, I was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you were. If you were in Mexico, it's the water. I I'm was in Mexico. In Jamaica, we went uh, years ago, and they their beer, their national beer is Red Stripe, and it is so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, it, oh, is really good. Just drinking that at the swim up bar, it's like, oh yeah, I could do this for a while, you know. <laughs> okay, so breakfast talk, beers talk. There we go. This is what yeah, this conversation. Beer and breakfast, a stout so, okay, and bacon. Where did where did we stop with the uh, like um, looking back on the previous episodes, like four, three? Well, Three, we're, we're on four, I guess. Yeah. What's four? What was four? Um, yeah. One, one I think five. as you get oh, drunker, authentic your hair, audience. Your hair authentic. is getting more loose, Greg. <laughs> My hair? He's as loosening it loose. up. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Um, somebody called me Toby Maguire. I don't know how I look like him, but <laughs> yeah. Look, Greg. On a, Art Belfield. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he looks like Toby Maguire. I'm like, I don't know how I look like him. But, I mean, that. I'm not trying to be that yeah, guy. But that's like, to said. a black person, maybe you do look like Ter- Toby Maguire. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I'm Puerto Rican, so I'm like halfway there. I can see it. <laughs> I'm like, am I Toby Maguire from Sea Biscuit or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which Toby Maguire are we talking about? We're talking about Brokeback Mountain, Toby, or which one are we talking about? Oh, that's Toby. I can see that, Toby. <laughs> 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 anyway oh jeez <laughs> this is yeah, what the, happens when you drink on breakfast talk uh, the, the fourth episode that we did was uh, building an authentic audience so uh, how do you how did you build an authentic audience Melissa um, <laughs> great question yeah that is a good question because some days it's like why does anyone read my work I don't know um, <laughs> <laughs> well a lot of it is you know just kind of showing off who you are through your work a little bit you know my work is obviously things that appeal to me um because it's you know kind of like i mentioned earlier it's the things that i wanted in the world that that don't exist but now i'm making them exist and you know kind of bring my individual flair to things um between that and just kind of being like a an outgoing person who loves getting to know people um i've 
people are like, oh, networking is so hard. I'm like, what are you talking about? People are fascinating. People are doing cooler stuff. Like I'll go up to yeah, people's yes. tables back when we did conventions. I'm like, what's your thing? What are you working on? Like, oh yeah, I do a thing. Don't worry about that. More about you. you know? Exactly. <laughs> like, don't, don't, don't worry about my yeah, comments. Net like, networking is hard when you don't care about other people. But if you care about other people, it's not that hard. You know, it's it's really like, I just get to know them. And, and then we become friends. Like literally, exactly. this is how the relationship started with me and Sierra Nova, which is like, yeah, they, they reached out to me, we connected, and then it was like, oh, explain what your platform is about, blah, 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 business stuff. But we actually really have a friendship, you know? It's like a kinship with people who, who kind of have the same influences or the same driving force that you do. And and that's what networking is all about. It's not about, like, meeting people that are, like, aliens to you. It's, it's people that are really close to you. Oh, yeah, and, and it's really other connected. people doing what you do, and they're exactly. doing cool stuff, and you're doing your stuff, and maybe that's cool. I don't know, and <laughs> you know, Par parallel coolness. Yeah, I like exactly. That. Yeah, and it. <laughs> so that you know, it's, that's what it's really been about for me. It's like just putting putting my stuff out there, but seeing seeing what other what people are dude? doing. <laughs> He's How many probably dudes live in, in Dylan's apartment. <laughs> it's for real, it's, though. it's like, him, his brother, and I think two other guys that just one tell dude, him to come on in. Like the yeah, dude, join the party. One dude does like the camera work for their music videos, and I th the yeah. other guy I think is a musician or something. Dude, we get, where's Dylan at? Period. Like, where yeah, I think he, he probably wants to go to the bathroom to like break I the seal. Cause, yeah, because <laughs> Melissa was. Yeah, I did that earlier. But anyway, <laughs> Melissa was talking. I think that's why he was like, yes, she's on a tangent. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair, you know. Yeah, yeah. I no, have no other you're time very interesting. to take a Trust break. me, you're very interesting. Yes. Oh, thank Keep, you. Please continue talking. You're very interesting. Yeah, you know, with authenticity, you, you and like I don't show everything about myself. Like I keep, I keep things in my private life, my personal life, very, very private, um, unless I can spin it into something humorous. Um, so like crazy things that happen to me at work, I try to put that humorous spin on them. Like, well, this happened today, or like the time I witnessed a police car getting stolen in front of my house. Like those are the kinds of things I share. That's awesome. You know, just these kind of. <laughs> Just these kind of things that happen to just kind of share that side of me, but not really get too into the the thick of it, and right, just right. kind of telling these stories of my life that like, well, this happened, and you know that kind of gets people interested. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, being I able mean, to put my humorous spin on it. Have you ever seen Shen comics? Yes, I, I have. That's, they, that's the premise they're built off. It's just yeah. everyday stuff that's just hilarious, you know. And and the way that they they approach the artistry of it is it, it like pulls you in, you know. Absolutely, because it, it's so relatable. It's so yes. easy to get sucked in, and like I want to read more of this, you know. And it's just simplistic, funny, simple, you know. Just just very very good, you know, production wise too. I think they actually added in another artist to Shem Comics. Um, who's doing a really good job of mimicking the original artist like style, mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah, it's, they're growing and they're becoming bigger, and, and that's exactly what we do: is we we take something that's relatable and we stretch it out into this exaggeration of our creativity, and then people latch onto that because they're like, man, there's this gap that doesn't exist. Like like you were saying, you know, you're creating something that doesn't exist in the actual world, but it's still very relatable, you know, by imagination or otherwise, you know. Um, and, and, and I think that's that's the basis of comic creation in general is, is there's a million, billion, trillion stories to tell, and they're all going to be unique because they have their own unique spin to the relatable thing. Absolutely. But they all have that thing that you can latch on to, you know, yeah. which is phenomenal. And I think for you, it's what probably like anime, you know, what I mean? like cartooning, like things, things that like are very motion oriented. And then you're taking that like you're taking the um the keyframes of, of of those animations and then putting those into comics yeah just trying to to show the movement because i'll see it in my head like in motion like I, I a lot of people i talk to they see their comic <laughs> as the comic but i yeah. like see it as if it was an animated show and like oh, this is yeah, how they're moving around the head. room Dude, this is this great. is how this person punches this person yeah. like this is how this great. character dies you know greg you're on goose that was like yeah. the perfect like thing like my 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 writer all right so we have a weird story new leaf comics so <laughs> if you don't know us it's a weird story so we started off <clears throat> as as a comic book company but we we 
kind of indulge into gaming. My writer, one of my main writers, he, he got really engaged in, in creating games. So he, he started that journey, and that's that's where we're following now, is, is now we're focused on gaming. But we did have a comic called Uriel and Goose, and primarily the way that he wrote, he wrote in, like, arcs. So basically he would write, like, three different comic issues in, like, one arc story. So he saw everything in this very animated way, and, like, we could definitely see that comic turning into an animation in a very, like – in a quick fashion, you know, like it, it would probably be better actually as an animation than it would be as a comic, you know, and uh, we just can't execute that, you know, like I couldn't, I'm not an animator, nobody we know is animators and we couldn't make that vision, you know, come come to fruition. So we did our best with uh, creating that comic, but it's something that's just not completely like totally represented, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. I, I am learning uh, Blender to try to like learn animation. Yeah. So yeah. that might happen at some point. Do you guys want to see some of the stuff I've been making in Blender? That's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's see it. Right, give me a second. I, I have to pull it up really quick. Right? Hopefully it doesn't crash either. On your... <laughs> it would crash as soon as I'm showing something that I'm proud of. You know what I mean, Greg? <laughs> yeah. Coincidental, quote unquote. We had you should our... have shown us your emotes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have many of those because I'm looking for people to work with, you know, like Sierra Nova. I'll create their emotes, but you know, yeah, probably. That, I'll see, there you go. You know, yeah, let me we're, I'm gonna we're gonna show start you doing like a create. Twitch show or something probably soon next year or whatever. Because we have a Twitch, we just haven't. The only time we've used it so far is this event. So. Oh, wait, gotta get, gotta get on it, bro. This this is probably a good like sparking event though to like launch your channel though. It probably would have been a good. Yeah, it's we already hit those like eight quick. hour milestone yeah. thing that you needed. So perfect. that's pretty cool. They're like, what a wow, way to kick off you... a channel. Yeah. yeah for like, real. And then it just goes dead for a month because we're disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> In hey, December, yeah, we're just no. going away. Yeah. Bad timing. Bad timing. That's for sure. Yeah, it's like <clears> vacation <throat> time, December. Uh, yeah, yeah. December is December. like, um, we just. Yeah, there's this entrepreneur that we follow, Gary V, and he came up with that idea last year, and we're like, oh, that's a really good idea. So we did that last year, and I was bugging Dylan the entire time, like, oh, during this time we could just work on scripts. But he was just busy with his family, being like a family man and stuff. <laughs> Nicholas Dylan, Cage. God. So, yeah, he's so I was like, who has a family anymore? Shit. So... <laughs> I know. I always think I'm gonna get so much done during the Christmas break, and no, nothing gets done. I already got. Why am I back at work? Yeah, True. I already got the stuff that I wanted done in December, like uh, two weeks ago. So I was like, oh, so I don't really need to write anything <laughs> right now. What's, what's that life like being ahead yeah, of the curve? Because I'm I super never ahead. That's so brand new. To Very ahead. Else. I've never yeah. heard of that being a thing. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of time at work because um, I, at some point I wasn't able to – I was, I'm a security guard, and at some point I wasn't able to leave the room unless if I had to go to the right, bathroom or right, something. Right. And <laughs> at that time I was just like – I was just writing. I was like, oh, wow. Well, I can't leave this room, so yeah, I'm going to do this. Greg has one of those jobs that I wish I had when I was working a normal day job where, like, you can devote, like, four to five hours of your – like you're getting paid to do something that you're not actually doing, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> that job. I wish I had that job. I used to yeah. I used to work in the pet industry, so I like I used to work like uh, like boarding daycare stuff like that with like dogs and animals. And like you literally cannot like cease your focus for like a minute. Like you have to be like engaged all the time. And like mm -hmm. I always was sitting there in like groups of forty dogs, and I'm like I wish I had like a security security guard job where I could just sit down <laughs> and like write down some story ideas that I have or draw or whatever. And like, nope, I got to take care of these dogs. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that Google docs is like available there. Cause <laughs> mm -hmm. if that and our website are like, and YouTube and a few other things are like available, but like I can't use Canva there anymore. So I can't make thumbnails. Yeah. If I want. Uh, I'm like, Oh, okay. I guess I can't do it. You definitely have like a nice life hack though. Like legit. Yeah. Cause sometimes I watch people's like live videos, like Tyler Carpenter's, draw and talk yeah or a few other people on youtube and I'm, they're like how are you watching this right now before they knew my job and i was like oh yeah well, hey. security guard i don't do anything yeah and they're like oh that's the context, cool. obviously context is like 
hundred percent right. Well, do you guys know? I, I'm sharing my screen right now. I don't know if you can see it, but oh, um, hey. do you guys know Conti from uh, FLCL? Yes, one of, one of my favorite animes of all time. Well, I, I, he's tattooed on my arm. Um, so yeah, this is one of our characters from our game that's coming up. Um, so what we're doing is basically it's like heads are the characters, and then the characters are moving through this, you know, uh, space and they're. You know, you can you can see it when it comes out, but basically these are the characters, and one of them is Conti, and then nice. um, uh, we have some tribute characters that are reflected here, which I don't know if you Ooh. guys know who that is. I mean, it's pretty Black noticeable, but uh, yeah. So we have a Black Panther style character because obviously we we don't have the copyrights to Black Panther, so. Uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of moving along the copyright lines there. Um, so this is, um, yeah, Panther character. <laughs> I don't know what to call him. Black, Black Jaguar. Pat. Black, Black Jaguar. Jaguar. <laughs> Something. Yeah, exactly. Black Jaguar. That's what we'll call him. But yeah, this is some of like my 3D work. I've been kind of coming into my own uh, with 3D work. It's, it's something I've only picked up in the past couple like months. So this is pretty great progress in my opinion. Uh, yeah, that's I'd obviously... Say. Samus from Metroid Prime. Uh, yeah, Samus like character. I, guess. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to call this one really. Uh, Alien Hunter. Yeah, that. <laughs> there you go. That's what we'll call there it. There you go. Just, just don't make like the character without no, the suit yeah. on. Yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna. No, it's just the head. It's just the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so. Like if you used her head and just with the blonde hair. I think it's blonde hair. <laughs> Yeah, she does a blonde hair. So what's not Master Chief then? <laughs> he is Commander Master. That's what we'll call him. Commander, Commander Master. Master. Yep. Commander um, no. Chef. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so no, yeah, we're just creating this game that's very hyper casual and, and the character is obviously like more square based. And basically what we're doing are cubed, I should say. And and you just go through these levels and you try to um, you know, go from platform to platform. It's a very simplistic, casual kind of game. Um, but you know, just something fun. One of our this is our third game in history. So obviously, you know, we're not super complex yet, but we're we're moving our way up um into kind of the upper upper echelons of like programming and 3D modeling and all that kind of stuff. So um yeah, that's what we're working on. Oh, that's super cool. Thank you. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so you guys don't have to <laughs> witness my shame. Where did Dylan go? Oh, Dylan's still there. Huh? Like, he just disappears. Did he, is he just taking a nap on the floor? Like, I is think this so. is like, it's crash time. Yeah, he's done. No, he actually, did most Greg, of yesterday. Greg should be the one that's crashed out. I mean, to be honest. <laughs> I'll so sleep. Dylan needs to fill in the gaps here. <laughs> yeah, next year when I do this, I'm gonna have moderators to do this, so I'm not the only one. And uh, transitions <laughs> and yeah. more trailers from people, because I, I just asked the people from our platform to give me trailers, and there's like two or three people that did that, and I was like, ah, all right. I mean, you need, you need bumpers, and, and trailers are only so much, you know. Like we need some like advertisements. We need like yeah. You know, Oh, like, I'm gonna, gonna have I'm gonna, gonna, gonna have better. advertisements for our video game because yeah. by then we're gonna have like these fake commercials because for our video game we have fake companies that we right. we right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Which all those cool. like commercials that we're making for those. Well, I already I have one? one, but it's like thirty seconds. What was that mule one? That 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 company that you showed that was like the mule something? Donkey like Brew. Donkey Brew. There you go. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know if it's still on here. Because, like, after a certain amount of pictures that you... And then what was like, the other one? The, that burger yeah. company? Like, the, uh, the like, fast food yeah. chain? That's Gavin's. Um, yeah, he a has comic a burger bar. or something? Uh, um, I would eat a comic burger. That sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, he has a burger, too, for it, too. Um, yeah. Shit. Dylan, hi, oh. buddy. Hey. Oh, What's like going on? Some, some we, nuclear... we weren't talking about you at all. You at all. all. What? We weren't talking about you. What was that again? Ground Zero. Ground Zero. Ground Zero, Ground Zero Burger. <laughs> so he, he, he has like this nuclear burger that, like, he has an actual burger in his comic, <laughs> Stone nuclear, Legacy. Nuclear burger. All right, Greg. Well, at this, this point, at this point in time, I'm going to ask you to take a shot of that rum chata. 
That's all I'm saying. Hey, real quick, this open it. is coffee, cinnamon, cacao, and rum. and rum, condensed milk, almond flavoring, dude, vanilla flavoring, that's and too rum. much. That's too oh, much. okay, good. You, that's you, you so actually much. have alcohol. I got how much tired of listening to that ingredient list. Yeah, how much is that? It actually, did you take a full <laughs> shot? Like real a real legit quick. full yeah. shot? Did Martha yeah. Stewart yeah. help you make oh, that drink? For real. It's a pioneer woman in your kitchen. Just like, oh, here, did it. Let me. Let me make you a coffee. <laughs> and Come here, Jen. Let me show you how to make a proper drink. And French vanilla cream oh. and coconut oil. Oh, Mr. Dillon, let me make you a drink and get your potato. <laughs> exactly. That Just stick it into long. a potato. It'll be okay. Yeah, I, I accidentally added way too much almond flavoring, so like I needed to add all those other ingredients to like counterbalance it because it was brutal. Like, I, like, I thought I was an almond. When you have a good rum, you don't you don't mix it. A rum is meant to be just be shotted, like a good rum, because oh. it's made from fruit it's, with, oh, it has it's natural hot. sugars in it. But it's so like, look, 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 look. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to drink. I'm gonna show you how to drink. Okay, look a rum. You. Open the back of the throat, rabbit. Look a rum. <laughs> hey, Oza, we're gonna rum? teach you how to drink, eh? <laughs> eh? Oh, where's eh? Chuck? We gotta rum? make fun of his Canadianness. <laughs> rum and whiskey, those are shot drinks. Yes, you can make them into mixed drinks, but those are My shot God. drinks. Vodka, that's something you, you should mix because that shit's fucking hard. Yeah, that, I've, it's I've from mixed Russia. It with, like, Anything from Russia, yeah, you got to mix that shit, bro. Have you ever had bacon yeah. vodka? No, I haven't. No, and that sounds, it. yeah, it doesn't I've sound good. I've had bacon beer. If, if it's ice, <laughs> I've heard of that. It's delicious. If you get ice, ice, bacon ice beer. cold bacon vodka, it kind of tastes okay. Mm -mm. So, so mm -mm. I'm just doing mm -mm. this now, or what? What is that? Wait, wait, wait. You're doing, she, he's doing a double shot of rum chata right now. This is the shot glass that That's I have. That's a double shot. That's, That's a well, double shot, bro. You can blame my Look brother. Don't stop him. Let him do it. No, no, no. I'm not yeah, stopping him. I'm just saying, you know, that's what he's getting into. He, this that's is a double the shot. only that's shot glass shot. I have. I am not a drinker. That's a double. Oh, no, that's one shot. That's one shot, man. Don't worry about <laughs> oh, it. Oh, is it one? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, totally it's just like one shot. It's like a glass shot. this tall. <laughs> this tall. They're like, that's one. That's one. That's so sad. <laughs> this All is right. the most fun I've ever had on breakfast talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you want me to drink this now? Yes. <laughs> Shoot it, bro. Without, without Shoot spitting it, bro. Without spitting it out. Who's Mr. Greg? Slancha. Slancha, Greg. This is not going to be disgusting, right? Mm -hmm. No, rum, I look at the ingredients. That looks amazing. Don't it's good, it smells bro. really good. Dude, rum chowder is so good. Rum chowder so is good. really good. Used to be a Christmas tradition yeah. at my friend's house. Her mom would pour us shots of rum chata and fireball. I would chug oh. that. Oh. Yeah, it was oh. good. Chug that. Yeah, isn't that nice? Yeah, rum oh. chata. I don't, I don't know if that's meant for shots. That's like a good a drink. No, it's a drink. Like you rum drink it. Rum chata is anything you want it to be for. <laughs> I love you that. can you can down it. You can sip it by the fireside. It tastes, anything it you nutty. want. Hey. Yeah, it tastes it, nutty. There's sliced almonds in it. Oh, Look, okay. Yeah, no, like you can, nutty, cinnamony. You can, is it keto <laughs> friendly? <laughs> God no. God no. <laughs> But you can make a shot with it. It's called um, like an egg white or something like that. It's called like an egg shot. And basically base you have like the rum shot of base and then like a whiskey shot on top of it. Ooh. So basically it looks like orangey to the top. It looks like a, like a raw egg. And then you just take Egg it. beater. Egg beater. There's the name. I forgot what it's called. But Ooh. yeah. I would drink it's that something. actually. That it's sounds fucking lovely. delicious. Trust me, we we I've gotten drunk on that many a time. It's, it's fucking <laughs> many a time. Many a time. Have you ever had and, a brain hemorrhage? Maybe. It's, I, it's, I, play, I play football for like 10 years, no, so no, probably. It's, it's, you get a shot glass. It's half filled with, um, I forgot the clear liquor, but it's a heavy one, so it sits. It's a, it's more, I think it's a liqueur. You float Baileys on the top yeah. of it. And, <laughs> then, it, and then you drop um, grenadine no. in the middle. No. Oh, no. The Baileys go into the clear liquid and curl up because it's no. cold. And it looks like a brain hemorrhage. It tastes. Like the insides of a cherry cordai. No, tastes you're, like a brain. You're, you're talking about some mm. chemistry shit that doesn't actually work in your mm. stomach. Like you know it's what I mean? Like that's some shit that about. looks cool. Uh. It looks cool, but when you drink it, it don't go no, down well. No, no. You're, thinking yeah. a, you're thinking of a cement mixer. And those are, <laughs> and those are terrible. Those did are you, no, cement mixers aren't even good. 
Did you storyboard <laughs> that before you made that a drink? <laughs> no, I didn't even make that one up. Someone showed me that one. It's phenomenal. No, it, like six of them. I was like, that, that, yes, keep giving me those. That oh. sounds legit because that sounds like a, like a bartender, like somebody who went to bartending school made that shit up yeah. because it looks cool. But like when it sits in your stomach, no, that shit is I, not I, it cool. It didn't bother my stomach at all because whatever, yeah, the, exactly. whatever the clear liquor was, it was a, it was a, it was a like a syrupy liquor. It wasn't a. Uh, hmm. Um, yeah, I wish I could remember what the hell it was. It might have just been like a a, a, a vodka, but it was something I, simple. I feel sad oh, wow. that I, that yeah. I know so much about drinking alcohol. I feel sad about that, like <laughs> to don't. a certain degree. I, I use the mixology. A little bit. I used to have all my ingredients in there. Yeah. I, I just opened a can of condensed milk for the first time in my life. I didn't realize <laughs> that it looks like it looks like caramel. That's all it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it is caramel. Yeah. It's it delicious. is caramel. I'm gonna eat the rest of that. Cook candy. that. Look, look. Take that condensed milk and cook it. That's caramel. Yeah. Like, seriously, cook it. Put it in a pot. Cook it. It's caramel. Yeah. It, it, but anyways, uh, yeah, it's funny too because it also does expire. Because... <laughs> anyways, anyways. No, no. Anyways. It, I was saying that it, it also doesn't expire because that yeah. thing technically expired in 2016. <laughs> But it, I never opened it, so I just opened it. I'm like, I've never, I've never had a need for condensed milk, and I'm like, this. Company, now here you are. This drink has way too much almond to buy. I need something to cut it. Maybe some condensed milk will do it. Was that like? Did that condensed milk come with the apartment? Is that what happened? <laughs> I've had that it was, in three apartments. I've it was it was in the shelf. That, Greg, you never even knew me in my old apartment. I had that from my first apartment. That's how old that is. And I don't remember. I might have found it there. It might have been there. It, it's been with me for as long as I remember. The can of condensed milk has just always been there. The two of us. No. <laughs> Could have made fudge with it. That's, that's how you make fudge. I was just don't pop a fudge and eat the shit. Look, it's so good. Don't make I mac think... and cheese with it though. That, no, no. <laughs> that happened. A friend of ours was making mac fat and mac and cheese, and he was supposed to use evaporated milk. And he's oh, like, no. I don't have that, but I have condensed milk, and they're not oh. the same thing. Like if you oh. you have to go full on like cocoa powder, coconuts, and you know Richard Jones. You know you got to add all that in there. What are you puffing on, Richard? Jesus. Camel lights. Can Pass that shit, bro. Jeez. Maybe <laughs> pass it this way. Well, Melissa, you thank you for alcohol. thank you for coming on. Melissa, thank you so much for having me. Melissa, yeah. you were fucking awesome. Seriously. Are like, you trying to hug her through the camera? I, I wish I could. I wish I could. Uh -huh. like, we're we're like straight up homies right now. Uh, I'm gonna look you up. Where can I find you? This is me you? coming around the back. Yeah. Before you go, where can we find you? Where can anyone find you? Certainly. Uh, so my Kickstarter is running till December 4th, not the 3rd. Um, and that is at blackball.melissajmassey.com. A very easy to remember URL. Uh, melissajmassey.com is my main website. Uh, if you're looking for more Blackball stuff, that's at welcome to blackball.com. Uh, find me on the tweets. I'm at Melissa J. Massey. I'm on the grams as at Byzantine Tafosi, as we discussed earlier in the show. <laughs> uh, and on Facebook, if you look for the art of Melissa J. Massey, you'll find my Facebook page. Awesome. Well, I, sent, awesome. I sent you a friend request. Oh, I hope hi. that you accept that really quickly. I won't. Because, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm going to make you wait for it. <laughs> yeah, if you leave me on red, if you leave me on red, I'm going to be really hurt. I have to give you my other heart. Uh, okay, hold on. To, I can't. The no. other way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's. There you go. <laughs> it's, <laughs> really. I, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's horrible. There we go. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to come on to the stream and they're like, what are they doing? Dude, Richard is like, what the fuck is going on? He's like, I just want to draw. Yeah. <laughs>